Alright, we're going to be playing Velvet Assassin today. It's loosely based off the true story of an agent during World War II, a female agent, who worked with French resistance groups, and during her second mission, she worked to try to hinder the Nazi communication lines during the Normandy landings. She was captured and executed at 23 years old. This game is loosely based off of her, but there's a lot of fabrications in it. Alright, let's begin. Agent difficulty... I long to be back in the war. That was my true home. We were inhuman beings. Butchers on a field full of corpses. Corrupt and depraved. Only some of viscera blood and bone. Creatures without souls. I was flown back to France to blow up a gigantic fuel depot, which the Germans had built in a bunker on the Maginot Line. The Reich was running out of oil. They guarded every barrel like the crown jewels. The main entrance was secured like the fear's bunker. Fortunately, every rat's nest has a second entrance. I had to try and find it. I jumped over a wooded area that bordered on the rear of the complex. Unfortunately, my equipment was stuck at the top of a blasted tree during the landing. To make matters worse, I saw that the area was guarded by Buffum SS troops. Those units had one basic rule. Take no prisoners. Exactly like me. Alright, let's get started. All our equipment is right there, and we can't get to it, because she can't climb a tree. Which means that we don't have a gun or anything, all we got is a knife. But that's all we need. A colored silhouette around Violet indicates that you're hidden in shadow. Enemies will be unable to spot you from a certain distance. I could easily take the soldier out of the way. I only had to be careful creeping up on him. If I remember right, this game is actually made by a German company. Which is interesting. Lay the fuck down. 
This is how you aim your knife. Switch over the shoulder. She runs, and she's bouncy, and she's fucking bouncy, and she bounces, and when she bounces, she bounces, like that. I had to wait until they separated. Hey, uh, guess what? I killed Herman. Goodbye. Search the body. Collectible. Signet ring. Obviously a precious ring which has been handed down to the heir in a traditionally military family. You can find collectibles throughout the game. They give you experience and then you can level up. This game has kind of like an RPG element to it, but not much. Take over here. my chances. The morphine is kind of like bullet time that you can use to get out of difficult situations. Like this. They won't be doing anything to anyone. Ever again. Remember, kids, when you get in a when you get in a uh, tough spot, just run around in your underwear, and you should be good. Let's look at these collectibles. A box with fine cigars. The colleagues from the intelligence agency will be happy about this. Signet ring, silver cigar box. Pretty much the same thing. Search the body, found a key, <coughs> oh, and uh, you can pick up the bodies too. And that is the first mission, it's pretty short. All of these missions are basically divided into sub-missions, so the next part will be longer. Oh, that doesn't look good. Frickin' Nazis. Anyways, we will see you in the next video.